as we come into a time of offering this morning, uh, we can know that sometimes it is hard uh, to know that our gifts do a lot. Uh, most of the time we know that our gifts are only a part of something that is much larger than us, much larger than what we do. But no matter what, something we need to remember, especially as we give in whatever form that takes in whatever area that that, that, that happens in, is that, uh, is that no matter what, our gift is an important part of what is taking place. As you give, remember that even though your gift may not change the world by itself, when it is combined with the gifts that we give together as a community of faith, and that we combine with the other gifts that come from folks from other places near and far away, that our gifts together can change the world, especially when we give them in Christ's name. I continue to give thanks for the gifts that you give and, and continued support of our church and our ministry of who we are as a people of faith in this community. Your gifts continue to help us to be God's presence, to be God's people, and to go out and to reach out and to help and support those who are around us. As we come into a time of giving today, I invite you to find ways that you can give both to us here in the church, to your neighbors, to your friends, to your family, and to others who are around you. As we give our gifts, will you let me pray with us today? Wondrous God of the universe who finds time to whisper your love to us, we come to your altar with grateful hearts. When you speak your love into our quiet moments, it is the most precious gift of all. It is not a gift to hold and to hide, but to proclaim from the housetops. May the gifts we offer to you this morning proclaim your love loudly to a world that often feels forgotten. We pray this in the name of your Son, our Savior and Redeemer, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our scripture reading this morning comes from Ezra chapter 4 and verses in his verses uh, 1 to 5 and is kind of giving us more of the struggle that the Jewish people were facing as they were returning from exile back to Jerusalem and to their homeland. So hear these words. When the enemies of Judah and Benjamin heard that the returned exiles were building a temple for the Lord, the God of Israel, they came to Zerubbabel and the heads of the families and said to them, Let's build with you, for we worship your God as you do, and we've been sacrificing to him ever since the days of Assyria's king Esarhaddon, who brought us here. But Zerubbabel, Jeshua, and the rest of the heads of the family in Israel replied, You'll have no part with us in building a house for our God. We alone build because the Lord, the God of Israel, and Persia's king Cyrus commanded us. The neighboring peoples discouraged the people of Judah made them afraid to build and bribed officials to frustrate their plan. They did this throughout the rule of Persia's king Cyrus until the rule of Persia's king Darius. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Will you join in singing our next song this morning? <laughs> 